My first memories uh, of visiting this amazing place, uh, I'll never forget, it was the 30th of August 2011 and uh, as it was then, uh, the whole of this area was a building site. Uh, there was ISO containers and security fencing, the building was still covered in uh, scaffolding, uh, very bewildered. Um, I remember the driver saying to me, good heavens, it looks like you're going to be working in a castle. Um, and I was absolutely terrified. I, I walked in through the doors, uh, totally overwhelmed and bewildered by this magnificent building, thinking, my goodness me, what have I done? My first experience um, when I actually drove up the drive and I saw the building for the first time, it was absolutely amazing. The first day I came here, I was a bit uh, overawed, but I can honestly say that within an hour, I was put at ease. From straight away, it was just like, it was like a family. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you that have just arrived to the Atlantic Nose Centre, a big warm welcome uh, to North Wales. Well, yes, there was, I was picked, I was very nervous about it because I was on my own, etc. And the driver, he put me at ease straight away. I, I felt happy. He sat me in the front with him and Natalie away to me. And I felt quite happy. And when I got here, they came to meet me and sort of took my arm and brought me in. It was absolutely fantastic. Everybody was so friendly. And here, of course, well, they can't do enough for you. There was a, a young member, one of our younger members, who stood up and explained that he had been living on sandwiches for a number of years, because that's all he could manage to do with his sight loss. And during the week of being here, he was able to cook a meal. And it meant so much to him and his independence. And that has stuck with me for 10 years. And it um, brought home exactly what we're doing. The first time I really noticed the power of what we do, uh, we had a gentleman here who couldn't see and he'd never seen these grandchildren. I just happened to have a picture of my kids in my wallet, so I put it up underneath the CCTV and you can see it. And so his wife ran to the room and brought down all these photographs for his kids to see, uh, uh, for him to see the grandkids. You know, they, they, they got him to a situation where rather than being sat in the corner and kids ignoring him, they were able to interact with him through these CCTV with their drawings from school and things. I mean, I realised then that actually what we do here could be life-changing. I've met some wonderful people here, uh, people who I've been honoured to meet. It's them I want to thank for having the privilege to meet them and join them. I always feel much taller when I go home. I, I came once when uh, my wife was going on holiday with my daughter and I thought, I know, I'll go to Clandidno and uh, see if I can get in there. And they put me in the poppy wing. And all you have to do is press the bell and there's somebody there if you want a cup of tea or if you want to go for a walk, they'll take you downtown for a walk along the pier or whatever. And I, I thought it was wonderful. Uh, we have the poppy wing um, and we can have, we've got 14 rooms so we can have people with complex needs, but they can still take part in, in centre activities, in training. Uh, so if they need extra assistance, um, they're not excluded at all uh, and they're able to be part of the whole centre and what everybody has available to them. We do a lot of craft activities and various sports, um, including archery and bowls. Um, and it's really about showing the members that they can still engage in those activities and their hobbies. Like, a lot of our members think that they can't do that anymore because they're sight and that they can't see what they're doing and there's no point. Um, for, so for a lot of people it's really about showing them that we can adapt things, you can still engage in the hobbies and interests and really you can still have that amazing quality of life. I always used to come new, for New Year's Eve because they had tremendous, tremendous parties New Year's Eve, wonderful parties. The place was packed, nobody left till one in the morning, it was great. All the trips I've been on have been up to uh, castles and uh, oh, everywhere. Even Manchester Museum, I think, we've been in. Liverpool. I've been everywhere with these people. And enjoyed every second. The last 10 years of my working life, these 10 years now have been amazing. And just, just to see members going out of here 
having such had as such a lovely holiday or a respite or training is you know it makes your day it makes my day when i see that that's 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 the love of working for blind veterans in this center i would describe it in one word as family it does feel like you're part of a very large family and you you feel as though you matter and you're part of the bigger picture i i i don't call myself a high school keeper i say i help veterans i help veterans i help veterans uh live with the sight loss the blindness and i give them, try to give them confidence that they can do things even though they're losing their sight or some of them are totally blind that's what that's what i say my job is for me i get so much out of it um, and i go home um, 10 minute drive home i feel my heart is full they all act as if you're the most important person in the world. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. They can't do enough for you here, to be honest with you. It's not like anywhere I've worked um, before, in that we've all got the same vision. It's, it's we all look out for each other, and we all sort of fit together like like a jigsaw, really, because we we are different departments, but you know we're we're all one. Um, team. The attitude and the relationship between staff and everybody, it's lovely and I think it lifts your spirits just to be a part of that. It's been a big part of my life, 10 years, it's been a big part of my life and uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it.